Hope you guys can see me. Just got the keys to the new place. Wanted to show you what the shop looks like. Sorry for the shaky cam, but I'm taking this video on my phone. So I hope it's working. So this is a shop from the outside. Here's my truck. Uh, you can see it's got a cupola with a weather vane, but um, I've been in there already. So let's just do a quick tour on the outside. Double doors, I just changed those locks. Um, there's a garage door over there, and I'll show you a little bit about that more in a minute. So let's go in. This door needs to be taken down and repainted. I might just replace it. If you look at the paint, it's all it's all bubbled right there. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Anyway, here we are inside. 768 square feet. Um, so first things first, it's got an alarm system. Plenty of outlets and uh, electric baseboard heat. And they even left me the cruddy TV VCR combo. It's really echoes in here too. Uh, I'm going to go over and stand in that corner right now. So when you look out from that corner, you can see a bunch of wall cabinets over there. I don't know if I'll keep those. I might. They're up high, so maybe I will, at least for the time being. It's a concrete floor. It's a can incandescent lights. These might be okay. I'd rather, I'd rather upgrade those. You can see there's another room over there. Uh, we'll take a look at that in a second. And then over here, there's another wall hanging cabinet. Uh, lots of windows, which I like. And if you look on the walls, this is a 20 amp 220, I think. And this is just a regular 110. Um, and they're all, all over the place. And they're high, um, which is good. So I like that it's got the baseboard. Um, the walls are drywall right now, and that's okay. I kind of wish they were plywood. I might put some, I might put some plywood up. Um, you can see that there was stuff hanging on the ceiling uh, with all these screws or these uh, screw anchors. I think that was probably his deck, his duct work when he was in here, but I'm not sure. And then over on the far wall, you can see the electric baseboard heater, and then there's another one down here. So. Um, the thermostat has not been on, but um, I just turned it up to 55. Right here you can see four hooks and an outlet. I bet that was for one of those jet air cleaners, just like the one I have at home. That I'll, bring, I'll probably bring it over and just hang it right in those hooks. Um, motion detector for the alarm, fire extinguisher, and then attic access. And I'd really like to put in maybe stairs against this wall, but what I'll probably do is just attic pull down stairs um, so I can store things up there. I'd really like to be able to get my um, dust collector and my air, air compressor up there. So, but we'll see how that goes. All right, so this wall, actually these cabinets won't stay and I'll tell you why. This wall's coming out. Uh, this is the wall that blocks you off from that garage bay. And I'm gonna open it all the way up. I want to open it up to that garage bay to make the shop bigger. Um, and I'll use the garage bay for bringing materials and projects in and out. Um, and I got an old phone hanging on the wall, which is nice. I will never ever use that. Uh, but there is cable TV here in case, in case I care. Coming in here, this is labeled as the finish room on the uh, electrical panel. Concrete floors, electric baseboard heater some wall cabinets. These might stay for finishes and stuff. Another window. And then uh, outlets here, here, here. And there's a fan. Uh, now, I'm pretty sure this isn't spark proof, but that's okay. I don't use flammable stuff very often. So more cabinets over here. They're empty might use them. And then, good look at the panel here. Shop heat finish room, shop heat finish room, 220 plug, 220 plug. Uh, this says 110 plugs, 220 plugs. I don't know what it's for. 220 and 110, floor plugs and stuff like that. And the dog is here, hello dog dog. I'm making a video right now, it's, it's okay. Um, but, 
Last thing I wanted to show you is that there are four plugs. Uh, so hopefully those have a good conduit and I can upgrade those because I want to put the table saw and the joiner right in here. So anyway, that's it. More video later.